Hello students under the topic nonlinear partial differential equation we are solving problems under type 2 so standard type 2 so here we have problem 4 already we have completed problem 1 2 and 3 and here we have problem 4 which is solve z square multiplied with p square plus q square plus 1 is equal to a square so we observed that here we have z p and q only so this equation is of the form f of p comma q comma z equal to 0 and this a is an arbitrary constant so we have only p q and z explicitly to be present in this equation so since uh, this is an arbitrary constant uh, we have to make a substitution of q usually we make a substitution of q to be equal to a into p but now because arbitrary constant we are, is a over here we have to use another new constant that is q is equal to some cp we have we have to make a substitution of q to be equal to cp because already we have the arbitrary constant here as a so uh, i'm going to make a substitution of q equal to cp in equation 1 that is the given equation has to be marked as equation 1 and we have to make a substitution of q to be equal to cp in equation 1 so let us do that so equation 1 will become z squared multiplied with p square and what is q q is taken as cp and so it will be plus c square p square plus 1 is equal to a square now from these two we can take p square common and we will multiply this z squared with these first two terms separately so we will get z square p square multiplied with 1 plus c square and then we will multiply with this z squared with this one separately and so it will be z squared is equal to a square uh, so from this z square p square multiplied with 1 plus c squared will be equal to a square minus z squared so taking this z squared to the right it becomes negative z square so p square will be equal to a square minus z square divided by taking this and this to the right it goes to the denominator so z squared multiplied with 1 plus c square so from this the value of p is equal to plus or minus square root of a square minus z squared and in the denominator what is what is square root of z squared it will be z multiplied with square root of 1 plus c square so this is the value of p that we have obtained now we have to substitute this value of p and the value of q in the equation we know that dz is equal to p dx plus q dy now in this if we put q is equal to ap i mean now uh, here we have taken as cp so remember here we have taken as cp so be careful in making the substitution so this will be dz will be equal to taking p common we will be having dx plus c dy taking this p to the left we get dz divided by p is equal to dx plus c dy now we have to make the substitution of the value of that we have obtained over here so we have to take this and substitute now because we have p in the denominator we should substitute the reciprocal of this so let us do that after substituting the value of p on the left this is what we get so plus or minus square root of 1 plus c square integral z d z divided by square root of a square minus z square is equal to integral dx plus c is a constant so integ c integral dy now to integrate this integral we have to make a substitution of t which is equal to a square minus z square differentiating on both the sides dt is equal to uh, the differentiation of a square is 0 minus 2 z dz and so minus dt by 2 is equal to z dz so this is the value that we get after making a substitution of t to be a square minus z square and so we will be having plus or minus square root of 1 plus c square 
and here z d is z is integral negative d t by two divided by square root of a square minus z square is square root of t is equal to what is integral d x integral d x is x plus c multiplied with integral d y is y so x plus c y now next is we have to integrate on the left hand side this negative sign when it gets multiplied with plus it becomes plus into minus minus and minus into minus it becomes plus so again the sign is going to be anyway plus or minus only so plus or minus square root of 1 plus c squared and this 2 comes in the denominator and what is the integral of i mean what is square root of t it is t to the power 1 by 2 when taken to the numerator it will be t to the power minus 1 by 2 and on integration it will be t to the power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 is equal to x plus c y and we have to add the constant of integration here itself so plus b so plus the constant of integration b and so this will be further plus or minus square root of 1 plus c square divided by 2 and what is t to the power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 it is 1 by 2 which is square root of t divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 is 1 by 2 and that is equal to x plus c y plus b and so this 2 and this 1 by 2 gets cancelled and we will be having plus or minus square root of 1 plus c squared square root of t is equal to x plus c y plus b now we have to get rid of this square root for which we have to squaring on both the sides so when we square on both the sides this plus or minus anyway becomes plus only and we will be having 1 plus c squared we will get rid of the square root and this square root as well so 1 plus c squared multiplied with t is equal to on the right when we square we get x plus c y plus b the whole square so this is the required answer for the given problem and still the problem it is problem is not over because we have to make the substitution of this t what is the substitution of t that we have taken it is a square minus z square so we have to replace that t by a square minus z square so a square minus z squared is equal to x plus c y plus b the whole square so this is the required solution of the given problem i hope you have understood this problem kindly follow the next video lecture for problem 5 on this topic thank you